the Beretta Model 950 BS Minx in 22 short. Let's check it out. Beretta started producing the Model 950 in 1952, and this was a very popular little pocket pistol. Uh, during the time, it was a very small self-defense option. Of course, now we have a number of 380s that are pretty much the same size. But during that time, this was a great gun just to slip into your pocket. Originally made in 25 ACP, and then they moved up to the 22 short, or should I say they moved down. We're going to take a look today specifically at the 950 BS Minx, and this is in 22 short. It's considered their M4, which has a little bit of a longer barrel than the original. And guys, these are fairly rare to get a hold of. Uh, in fact, I've wanted one for a number of years. But you know, guys, I'm a huge mouse gun guy. I love these small little guns to take out to the range. And in 22 short, <laughs> you're getting very mousy. Beretta is the oldest firearm company still in existence. Uh, they started out in 1526. So these people have a lot of experience with firearms. And there are so many different choices with Beretta over the years and even currently. Now this is the Beretta 950 Minx and it's the M4. M4 designates a little bit of a longer barrel. And you may have seen some of the little jet fires, which is in 25 ACP, and then the standard Minx, which is in 22 short, which this is in 22 short. Now we're going to make sure the gun is unloaded. We're going to drop our magazine and we'll go ahead and tip up the barrel. It is a tip up barrel design, and so we can check it. You can load this way, or again, you can load it just racking the slide. We're going to be showing a number of different guns, and they've all been safety checked. Talking about a mouse gun, this is the mousiest of the mouse guns. I mean, it's just such a tiny little caliber. In fact, it's just really small. And 22 short has been used for pest control, actually to slaughter hogs years ago. It does have some power behind it, but it's honestly not really a self-defense option. The original Beretta 950, uh, I bought this new, uh, it's been 30 years ago. Uh, in 25 ACP, this is their jet fire. And this was actually the first caliber designed. Uh, again, it was just in the 950. And then the 950B was in 22 short. And then the 950BS was with the frame safety. And so this is a frame safety. Actually, these were made from 1968 on. So if you have a 950 without the frame safety, honestly, it's not really safe to carry. Uh, they do allow for a half cock, they say. But honestly... Uh, it can hit and it can go off. So really, it's better not to even keep one in the chamber. And you've got your tip-up barrel, which is a pretty cool design and still very popular. And of course, with the M4, it has a tip-up barrel as well. And it's just a little bit of a longer length. In fact, the barrel length is three and three-quarter inches in length. With the standard BS, uh, this is the two and three-eighths inch barrel. So it's a tiny barrel, tiny caliber, tiny pistol. You know, a lot of people are questioning why in the world would you have a 25 for that matter or 22 again or 22 short. But, you know, during the, that time, firearms were large, they were heavy, they were all steel. And so Beretta came out with the 950 uh, as a personal defense firearm. But actually, only for the 25 ACP. They never claimed that the 22 short was a self defense firearm. Now the 22 short is actually the oldest metallic caliber that's still commercially made. 
1857 was when it was first produced. And then we have the 22 long rifle, which is 1887, so about 30 years later, much more powerful. The 25 ACP, 1905. One of the reasons why the 25 ACP was developed was by John Browning. Uh, it's a more reliable caliber because of the center fire versus rim fire. Both of these are rim fire calibers. And even though 25 ACP is typically a little more underpowered than the 22, it's more reliable as far as a self-defense option. And one of the reasons why it stayed so popular. And then we have the 32 ACP that was designed in 1899, which served a lot of even militaries for a self-defense sidearm for a number of years. Between the 22 and the 22 short, um, you know, we're getting about 36 to 40 grains on the 22 long rifle at about 1,080 to 1,260 feet per second. We get down to the 22 short and we're looking at about 29 grains and about 1,095 feet per second. We've got a considerable difference between the two as far as power. Uh, the 22 short though is was really designed for small game such as rabbits and squirrels and it can definitely take care of that. Um, even out of a rifle uh, at 30 yards, a 22 short is almost as capable as a 22 long rifle. Now the original 950 was introduced in 1952 and these were produced all the way up till 2003. Uh, with the shorts, I think they kind of discontinued those a little bit early. And guys, if you're looking for this longer barrel M4, uh, they are very difficult to find and if you do find them, they're pretty pricey. Uh, I picked this up on Gunbroker, and I paid $610 for it. So these are not cheap. You know, you can get the 950s for considerably less, probably around the $450 to $500 range. But because these were discontinued in 2003, uh, you're only going to find them on the used market. And they do bring a premium because they are Beretta, and they're just beautiful little fun handguns to take to the range. Now, in 1984, Beretta introduced the Model 21. Uh, this is the 21A and it has a frame safety, wood grips, as you can see. Uh, it does have the tip-up barrel, but it's in 22 long rifle, and they also make one in 25 ACP. Uh, these are still currently being made. In fact, we just did a review of the Enox model, which is in stainless, and this is in 22 long rifle. Uh, they still make the blued model as well, and they make a covert model with a threaded barrel. Again, guys, these are very popular firearms even today. Now, the standard 950 BS is a single action pistol. That means when you pull the trigger, it doesn't actuate the hammer. Uh, you have to actually pull the hammer back to fire, or you can rack the slide. Uh, and you can rack the slide. Uh, it's a little bit tougher, but it's not really that hard, difficult. But the easiest way to load is to pop open the barrel and just insert a round inside the chamber. The Model 21 is a double action pistol. That means that when we pull the trigger, it actuates the hammer. So we can load a magazine, rack the slide, or tip up the barrel, place a round in it. Uh, and then, of course, we can fire it without having to pull the hammer back. Just like that. Uh, and it's not good to dry fire rim fire calibers because it can damage them if you do it excessively. So you want to be careful. But then Beretta introduced their Tomcat. And this is in 32 ACP. It's quite a bit thicker. Uh, and they make this in an Enox model as well. Again, still part of the mouse guns. And it does have that tip up barrel, but man, it's a little bit larger. And this is double single action as well. Now with the 22 short, uh, it only holds six rounds. And then you can put one, of course, in your barrel. It gives you a seven round capacity. With the 25 ACP, uh, it holds eight rounds. And again, that'll give you nine. The magazines are all metal. Uh, they do have a little bit of a button here, but I found that it's really difficult to get your thumbnail up under that. So what I do is I just load around first and push down the follower, and then I can get the, you know, the little follower, and I can use my thumb to go ahead and load it. But really, it's only six rounds, so it's not really that difficult. Uh, it's a nice, solid magazine. It goes in pretty easily. Uh, it does have the hill-type mag release. And while it doesn't really jettison them out, it does drop them out, and they are drop-free. Little serrations, not a lot. Of course, this was really made to enter around into the tip-up barrel. It has a stamped out metal trigger guard and then it has an alloy frame. Nice plastic grips. Uh, the checkering on here actually is pretty solid, uh, but there's so little recoil with these pistols. 
And then as you can see, I mean, I have medium sized hands, not really large hands, and my pinky hangs off the end of it. So with really large hands, you know, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna barely have two fingers on it. Um, and two, with large hands, you can get slide bite if you have meaty hands that go over this little beaver tail area. And so it's just a nice little curve right here. It just nestles into your hand, shoots very flat, very soft. I mean, it's so easy to shoot. Uh, the bluing on here is absolutely beautiful. You can see with the lighting. I mean, this is the old hot salt bluing. And it just has a beautiful, almost a wax finish on it because it's so smooth. The sights are super low profile. It's just a little notch at the back where it kind of raises up, which I think it makes it a beautiful little area right here. And then, of course, you have a blade front sight. Fairly difficult to pick up. And, uh, you know, as far, as far as accuracy, that does affect accuracy. But this gun was made to be really small, really tiny, to be able to, you know, hide away in a pocket. So, you know, the sights are definitely meant to be a no-snag, low-drag kind of system. I mean, guys, these are lightweight, easy to conceal, uh, super small firearm, especially, again, during its time. But it is extremely low-powered. Now, one of the things about the tip-up barrel is there is no extractor. Uh, it takes the blowback action of the powder and the propellants to throw that empty shell out. And that's one of the things about this firearm, especially for a self-defense option, is if you get one stuck, uh, you know, you've got to pull that out with your finger manually. There's no last round bolt hold open. I mean, it just snaps forward. Uh, it's a really simple design. Weight on the Beretta Minx M4, 11 ounces. Weight on the standard Beretta Minx, 10.8 ounces. Not a lot of difference. We're gonna be shooting some CCI shorts. At this point right now, a 22 short is really difficult to find. And so, in fact, I picked this up at a local gun show. And uh, we have already shot this. We've already taken it to the range one day and it shoots great. These only hold six rounds. So I was really glad to have that extra magazine out of my original 22 short Minx. Guys, you can see how short that 22 fits into the magazine. Uh, there's a lot of room, but this was made for the 25 ACP originally, so there's just going to be some room to fit in these mags. Well, taking the Beretta Model 950 BS Minx M4 <laughs> down to the range, it's a long name for such a small little firearm. Uh, just really soft shooting. 22 short is already soft. And, you know, we just ran through all the CCI we had. Then we pulled out the CCIs that were just shorts. And they're subsonic. And they're very low powered. There was a big difference between the two. And honestly, I was concerned that I wouldn't have any good reliability uh, with the small little shorts. And we put it through and it, it shot fine. I brought out my short barreled 950 BS and we had some issues with it. I went back to the M4 and it worked fine. Uh, so if you're going to be looking for 22 short to fire in these, I would look for good quality ammunition because if it's underpowered, you know, it's not, it's going to have trouble bringing that slide back and it wouldn't even feed around in it. In your hand, it's just, it just nestles in your hand. I like that little lip on the back, the little beaver tail. Uh, it really allows you to get a great grip on it. The grips are pretty aggressive and so that's nice it's a little thicker right here so it gives you just a little bit of meat but again 22 short is so easy uh, with that longer barrel you feel like you have a longer sight radius i feel like it's more pointable i feel like it's a little more balanced with the ccis we had no malfunctions whatsoever with the standard uh, with the low powered uh, ccis we did have some issues but honestly overall i mean this is such a pleasure to shoot and again, that low report, that low recoil, no recoil, and it's just a lot of fun. As far as the sights go, you know, it's just a little notch in the back, a little blade on the front, but yet you can pick them up. Uh, but, you know, as far as accuracy goes, you're really having to dial in to see those sights. And, and really, th this isn't made for a target gun. It's made for an up close and personal. And then in 22 short, <laughs> you really don't need to be carrying this for self-defense anyway. Overall, the 950BS, again, is one of my all-time favorite guns. 
and it's just even more so with these little shorts. They're just a lot of fun. I'm going to show you the recoil system. We're going to take this grip off. This grip is tiny. Very thin. Now you can see right here you have this spring system that comes down and it actually goes in the bottom and comes around the other side. And so when you're racking your slide, it brings that spring into the rear position. You can see where it's bringing it back. And that is your recoil spring. And when it comes to disassembly, drop our magazine, tip up our barrel, and the gun's empty. I like the convenience of being able just to pop that out and check it. Now bring your barrel all the way around. And then when you bring the slide back, and bring your hammer, go ahead and cock your hammer. Bring your slide back and then lift it forward. And so it just goes forward. These springs are holding it in, so it needs to go in that forward position. And as you look right here, we have these little areas where the springs fit. But guys, I mean, this thing is just tiny. It's simple. Uh, there's just not a lot going on. Even here, just a very simple, easy design, very proven. Now to reassemble, uh, just bring back your barrel all the way out. Again, these two slots in your slide, you wanna line those up with those springs and then get it under the slide rails. So once you kind of get it down, it just locks in just like that. It is real easy to put back on. Snap it, and we're ready to go. I'm not going to dry fire it because it does damage the firing pin. And guys, with the tip-up barrels, again, there's a number of different options. Uh, there's even the Model 21 and 25 ACP, which I don't have. But there's a lot of different type of these little small Berettas. A Taurus also makes the PT-22, which is a tip-up barrel, and originally made on Beretta machinery. But then they've gone their own direction. Great little budget firearm. But for the quality uh, of these really small little firearms that honestly are kind of locked into a time frame, there are 380s that are about the same size uh, that you would have as a much more capable self-defense firearm. But yet... The Model 21 tip-up barrels continue to be produced and very popular. Of course, also the Tomcat and 32 ACP. While 22 Short is something that you know you may not even care about, but it's one of those things that also is a lot of fun to take to the range. And guys, if you're like me, you have a number of different firearms, and I never plan to carry a 22 Short for self-defense ever. But there's a lot of guns that I just like to take to the range that I don't really plan to use for self-defense ever. So guys, the Beretta 950 series, I mean, it's just a really cool design. And it's one of my favorite little pistols. There's just something about the quality. It's really tiny and small. Yes, it's 25 ACP, but I have carried this in my pocket a number of times. And then when it comes to the 22 short, it's just part of the legacy of the Beretta little tip-up barrels. It's so easy to pop that up. It just makes it really fun to take to the range. People love it, especially gun guys when you bring these out. Again, not really recommended for self-defense with the 22 short and, and honestly not recommended with the 25 ACP. But like they say, it's better than a sharp stick. And guys, I'm just going to warn you ahead of time. If you start picking up some of these little mouse guns, it can be an addiction. Guys, check out Sportsman's Guide for all kind of accessories, shooting, hunting, camping, military surplus from all over the world. Uh, it's one of my go-to sources. And you get $20 off for every $100 or more purchase using SOOCH, S-O-O-T-C-H, in the coupon code. And if you're a member of their Buyers Club, you get free shipping. And that really comes in handy when you're ordering jerry cans. <laughs> so check out Sportsman's Guide. Great resource. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. again since 52 all the way and still current production in fact i mean it is oops 
Now we're going to pull the grip off, and I'm going to show you the. We're going to. Okay. Does that even fit? Nope. Here come those geese again. <laughs> I'm telling you, they want to be in my video. <laughs> 